Hey, can you get a spinner? Huh? Can I borrow your spinner? Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. Hey, a good thing. I'm not going to go along with it. Oh, another man. Oh, my God, you're awesome. I'm going to give you a fresh one. You are the man. <laughs> I don't care what your video thing says. You're the man. <laughs> Oh, I need one of Joy Hat. I've been feeding that stuff for two years now. I, I think I may have one left over there. Can't get a hat. I think I may have one I, left over at there. At the feed store, I said, you what? tell me. They can't see Hey, say on the camera how awesome Joy is. I'll get you a hat soon. Joy is off. There we go. Off. There we go. I'll get you a hat. Yeah. It's a long Hey, everybody's here on time. Congratulations, everybody. Seems to look like we had a pretty good hunt, very respectful scores last night again. It's, and it's just been a great format and it really works. You know, it's, uh, I think back to the old days and everything, you know, somebody, Shane and them guys, they always had the good spots and explore big. And, uh, but this format, yeah, I see that. Uh, but hey, this format has just really worked. And, and I think it's been well supported. And um, here we are again with a good cutoff. Uh, a good respectable cutoff and a good uh, top end. But anyway, uh, this stuff that you have here in front of us is a courtesy of uh, Yoder Nylon here. And it's their 30th year and they're doing an appreciation thing this year. They're set up out in front of the, uh, the main building of the vendor building out here and they're doing a drawing. So go out there and put your names in the drawing today or whatever. They're today, today at 4 o'clock, they're giving away another pair of boots, a dog box, and also a brand one of the brand new thermals. So just show them your support. Throw it in there. It doesn't cost you anything. So you get, get you a chance to go out there thank you for your So they're giving the bulls, the, uh, the vest, and the squalors is all coming from the older nylon. And then here kind of yesterday, uh, uh, Matt uh, Lingo here with uh, Almsman Advantage. Is that what it is? Uh, in the hats and stuff there so what he has is a scoring app and such or whatever he's got set up out there so appreciate that as well yep. congratulations to everybody so we want to kind of go over the rules and everything that's going to happen tonight so i'm not going to be up there and explaining anything tonight once you guys know what to expect we'll go from there but first things if you everybody has this orange sheet right here uh Marty, this is Marty Yoder, and he's the one that's sponsoring all this stuff. But uh, so he's going to, you're also going to get a pair of boots. So write your handler name in there, your dog's just a call name and the size boots you want. And while we're doing this meeting, he's going to go get some boots and bring them in here to you. Okay. So fill it out and he'll pick it up. So here's the name. Call name or the whole name? Just a call name. It's the dog. Like the dog in the wood. Dogs. Does it put my Do it. I'll give my boy size and put on. Wild. All right, we got them all apart. Yep, I think so. Perfect. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Uh, let's go over the rules for tonight. So the hunt format tonight is going to be a little different than what it has been. Now we're going to switch to full elimination rules that are going to be in effect. And what that does essentially is it, it advances a dog from every cast tonight. We have four casts. We want a dog advancing regardless of score. Worst case scenario under the full elimination rules would be is if all dogs get scratched in the hunt. Uh, on page, what's, what is it? 87. 87 in the rule book. And you can download it off our website if you want to see it here. Read the full elimination rules. As there's a couple different rules in it. And specifically is one of them, one of the major ones is that after you have a winner determined, everybody else has withdrawn or something, that dog, uh, you're going to hunt for 90 minutes. But after, if you're the only dog left, you're the winner. You do not have to hunt any more time. Now, that may or may not happen tonight uh, because you're also going for a high-scoring dog of breed and National Grand Knight. Let's say we have a couple black and tans in here. Let's say, uh, let's say both of them are, if they don't draw out in the same cast, they're not going to know what the other cast has, this and that. And that may be reason for them. They may not be competing for the cast win, but they are competing for the title this year. So just keep that in mind. There may be somebody that uh, maybe even if they might not be doing any good, there's a reason they're still staying in. Blue ticks, how many blue ticks do we have here? And two, two blue ticks, same thing there, you know, and two English, you know, so. So there, this may be a hunt where you're not gonna be as quick to withdraw, I guess is what I'm saying. So that part may not come into effect, but it may. Uh, if you have any questions about read read about it here on um, and, uh, and you can win with with uh with minus points actually uh but in order to uh the cast winner has to have a legit tree to be considered a castle got to make at least a circle tree to be considered a castle thanks if you have any questions we can look it up you know afterward without going into a bunch of details here or you can look it up in here as well 90 minute hunt tonight you're going to have a non-hunting guide and a judge so that means there's no voting on any situations. Otherwise, regular uh, procedures apply. And I have this yellow sheet I'm reading from that you all have here. Uh, so any questions on the on the first round? Anybody have any questions? Okay, you're all going to come in at 8 o'clock and meet your handler, your guides, and your judges at 8 o'clock. I'll talk about the drawing procedure here in a minute. Uh, the final cast is also going to hunt under the same rules as uh, under full elimination rules. You know, there that one may not go all the way. It's, it, it just depends how it plays out. Uh, that's also going to be 90 minutes for the final cast. Uh, Trevor's going to be out there. We're going to do a play-by-play -play of the final cast. I'll be in here doing it uh, online. I think uh, Clayton Stark's also going to be out there doing some uh, video footage of it and coverage of it that he's going to post. Uh, and he does a pretty quick turnaround with all that stuff. So look forward to uh, uh, some good coverage of that here uh, in the next week or so. Uh, let's talk about, uh, so when you come in tonight, if you're a cast winner, you come in, stick make sure you stick around here so uh so you're not as soon as as soon as everybody's back in we can turn around and send you get you right back down so, uh, let's talk about how to earn the grand knight champion of breed so uh it's going to be determined by uh by final cast placement first so that's very simple there we have two black and tans in the finals you know whoever places the highest is going to be your winner pretty simple if a breed's not represented in the final cast is going to be determined now this is where you are it's very important you all understand it it is going to be determined uh, uh based on your order of finish in your cast tonight okay let's just hypothetically we don't have any leopards here so i'll use leopards for an example let's say we have two leopard hounds one finishes second in cast tonight score does not matter the other place is third in their cast in a different cast. The one that plays second is going to be your winner. Does that make sense? So that may also be why somebody stays in, you know, for uh, your score is not going to matter here. It's going to how you place in your cast tonight. If, you, if you're determining National Grand Knight Champion of Freedom. You all get that? So if anybody has any more questions about that, just make sure you ask. Want to make sure you're all there. Pay the three black dogs all get set in. So score then. Then we'll go by score tonight. Yeah. 
And if we, and if we can't break it by that and the tiebreaker rules, then only would we revert back to your last night's score for it to break it. But yeah, if they both play second, let's say two of them are going for the for the, for the breed and they play set or finish second or third in the cast, then we would go by your score tonight. So first is going to be your placement within the cast. It's pretty simple, I think. It's a little different than what we're used to. We do that in beagles all the time. That's how they determine their placement. So everybody understand? Good. Uh, I think that about covers it right there. We have some breeds not represented here, but uh, a couple of them like Redbone. What about Redbone Plot Leopard? They'll be determined on last minute score. Another thing I want to bring up. So high scoring dogs of breed for the association. Your scores tonight are not going to be in play for that at all. You've already got your score that's in play for that. Okay, that was last night. And everybody else is going to be competing for against the scores that you had last night. Tonight is another means nothing as far as score goes when it comes to high scoring dogs of three. Not for the association. Anybody have any questions about that? Good. Uh, gosh, that part of it for the hunt format. Anything else? Any questions? Yeah. 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 You can do that, yeah. So, Alan, you said the breed association on the base off the last night's score, so your national grand night champions already determined, even if, say, you had two leopard hounds, right? This yeah. place is second. Yeah, they had a higher score last night. This is still the national grand on the leopard hound. We we do the national grand. The breed association would be high scoring male and female. Okay, I got yeah, male and female is what the high scoring go. Okay. Uh, so if you flip the uh, the card around or your uh, sheet around. So the award ceremony is usually they have it at nine o'clock. It's going to now be at eight o'clock here. Oh, so it's uh, seven o'clock is when uh, it's like, uh, no, uh, whether your high scoring dog is playing and all that, that's when they're going to determine that. Uh, let me see here. So draw procedure. Here's the next thing that's going to affect you guys. We really try to make kind of make a little spectator right at four o'clock. You're the first thing that we do is draw the grand 16. We have these little playing card looking things now that we'll have laying out on the table. It's going to be set out here in the middle of the floor. Have your dogs in hand and be don't have your dogs here four o'clock sharp or actually before. You can either be out here on the pad or you can be back here. I know it's maybe a lot to have 16 dogs in here, whatever you want. But then when we start calling you, I'm going to call you in whatever order I do. I'll probably call you in the order that I have you up here, okay? Just so you know, so you kind of look where you, who you're at and all that. But we want you to come in over here on this left side. When I call you, you're going to come in. There's going to be a table set out here with all these cards. Trevor's going to be there. And there's four number ones, four number twos, four threes, and four fours. You're going to draw a card. You're going to show it to me, and then we're going to put you on that card. So cast number one is going to be set up four of them down there, four of them here, four here, and four here. So you're kind of away from your cast, or you're together with your cast. We'll kind of direct you there. But your thing to know is to have your dog in hand and be up here and come in when I call you. Come in and draw your cast in front of everybody. Do we have any multiple uh, handler conflict or uh, owner conflicts? No multiple owners on any dogs. We don't have to worry about any of that. So we'll do all that. So once we got all the cast drawn and everything, then we're going to take a cast photo right out here in the front in the middle, starting with cast number one. We'll release you. Then you'll be back here at eight o'clock and go, the guys. Simple enough. Owner can come up too. Huh? Owner can come up. Yeah, owner can come up as well. Hey, congratulations to all of you got a world national champion. World champions here. Congratulations. <laughs>
Yeah. We were talking about it yesterday, man. If he so I heard he took us here, and I don't know, I think last year's a lot of money in there, but I think it'd be kind of cool like you know, some of those hotels it just made something nice in there that this uh his backup hammer stage truck. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, we do have a. So this must stay. Yeah, backup handlers must stay at the vehicle. We'll have a we'll have a task monitor to go out with the gate stay. Yeah. We don't need the backup handler to draw with it. No. Yeah, they can go with you, but they got to stay at the truck. And the reason for that, man, it's it's everybody oftentimes for something like this. If all of you have each have two spectators, the woods are too many in the woods. It makes it tough for the judges, the guides, and everybody. And that's the only reason we do this. So if you want a spectator, they can stay at the so They can be out there to fix down. No more than them. So just hang loose here. We're going to get some boots out here, and as soon as Marty gets up to it. Any, any questions? Anything anybody want to mention, say? Congratulations, everybody. Yeah, great accomplishment. Philip King, I know you've been trying to get in here forever. You finally did it, man. Oh, you've been there before. Yeah. Ed, how old are you? 74 years old. Who's the youngest one here? Uh, Probably Shane's the youngest. You. Barton, see you the youngest? I didn't know what I heard. I heard you. Take a look. I right. like silver fox. 29. Or serious. 13. 13. Try to win something. Good deal, man. Marty, you ready? Come on. So yeah, four o'clock set dogs in hand. You need to be out there, you know, maybe be here before four o'clock. But then as you kind of watch here where you need to be, and we need you over here to the first dog at four o'clock. Oh, uh, I'm going to go